We're back for another video. Okay, we haven't watched the homie Black Nine in a while, but he just dropped some fire today, and I'm like, yo, you know what? I gotta see this. I'm interested to see this. I go lie. The thumbnail grab me, Scorpion, get over here. So yeah, we're gonna watch um the last 15 ranking, the last 15 overall NBA draft picks. So yeah, let's get it started, man. Let's see what this list is looking like. Let's see what this list is looking like. Obviously, LeBron is gonna be number one. Obviously, obviously. All right, let's see how many. Let's see how many we disagree on. Let's see how many we disagree on. Number 15, Anthony Bennett. Okay, so he's the worst draft pick in the last 15 years. I could agree with that. I'm pretty sure I will agree with that. He's shit. He's shit. Yeah, he's on the Nets. What team is he even on? Career stats? Four points a game? Yeah, he's poo I definitely agree with that. Definitely. Was Curry a number one overall pick? I can't remember. Hopefully he wasn't. And if he was, hopefully, Black Knight slanders him. Greg Oden, we're going to say Greg Oden was just a little bit better than Anthony Bennett, huh? Yeah, I guess. Greg Oden is a ugly-ass motherfucker. God damn, Greg Oden is ugly. Wait, he won? He was on the heat when they won? Oh, he's got a ring? Damn, I didn't even, I didn't even know that shit. Damn, you lucky bastard. Damn, he really did have just a super easy career. And Ben Simmons at 13 just because he hasn't played yet. So, yeah, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. So far, this is making... Yeah, so far, this is making perfect sense. It's fucked up that they lost Ben Simmons, but when he comes back, hopefully he's still good. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. That was a good finish. Bargnani is a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Even though we haven't seen Ben Simmons play at all, literally at all, I might still give him the edge over Bargnani, weak ass. I don't know. Nah, we'll go Bargnani. Whatever. Fine. We'll go Bargnani. We'll go Bargnani. Fine. Fine, we'll go by Yadi. I agree. I agree. Andrew Bogan was the number one overall draft pick <laughs> in 2005. Who was the number two? Who was the number two overall draft pick in 2000? How the fuck does Andrew? How does? How does? Whoa, whoa! NBA 2005 draft results. What? Marvin. Chris Paul with number four? <laughs> Y'all pick, wow, Andrew Bogut. Wow, over Chris Paul. Yeah, y'all got it. Y'all got it. All right, let's stay focused. Andrew Wiggins, let's stay focused. Damn, I didn't even know he was the number one overall draft pick. His little weak ass. Damn, that's crazy, crazy, man. Hell no. Nah. There was one point when people really thought Andrew Bogus was, was worth the number one overall pick. Really? I have to go back and watch like the old ESPN videos or some shit because I don't see it. How did? What did he, What was he doing in high school? What did the Andrew Bogan high? Now, like now, I'm so curious. What was, what's his high school shit looking like? Like how was he? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Come on, man. How could y'all look at him and be like, "Yup, number one overall"? You know? I I don't get it. I don't know. Whatever. But they did think Anthony Bennett was going to be like LeBron. Derrick Rose at number eight. That's funny as fuck. Hell no. Yeah, we'll give him the slight edge over Wiggins. Let's see who he's put. Let's see who he put in front of D Rose. So far, I agree with this. So far, I, I, I agree with this 100%. 100%. Andrew Bogue is pretty bad, though, man. I mean, fuck. I guess he is a little bit. I mean, he does have a championship. I guess he is a little bit better than Simmons and Bargani. Not a lot, though, but shit, a little bit. D Rose used to be nasty. He's all right right now. We're gonna give John Wall the edge over D Rose. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I think I might go D Rose over John Wall. I'm gonna be real with y'all. As much shit as I talk about D-Rose, 
I think I'm going to go D-Rose over John Wall. Blake Griffin, yeah. Blake Griffin's better than... I guess... Man, D-Rose is so hard to gauge because when he was on fire, he was on fire. And he went to the Easter Conference Finals. None of these dudes have done that. Blake Griffin and John Wall haven't even gone to the finals in there. You know what I'm saying? But I guess, yeah, Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin is a little bit better than D-Rose. I don't know about that John Wall one, though, bro. I don't know about that, fam. I don't know about that with Fab Lab. That was a hot-ass move, though. Hit him with the little scooper. Hit the little scooper trooper, Kyrie Irving. He's a monster. Definitely better than Blake Griffin. Let's see who he said was better than Kyrie Irving, though. That is, this is going to be interesting. Kyrie Irving is number five. Who do we think is better than Kyrie? What four people do we have that's better than Kyrie Irving other than LeBron? Like, what? who, who, I'm confused. I'm confused on how there's five people. Hmm. We just have to wait and see. Dwight Howard, no. 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 Come on. No. No. Dwight Howard, a better, a better career than Kyrie Irving? Like, I should pause the video and walk off. Really, this is disrespectful. This is disrespectful. It's, did you see what Kyrie Irving did in the... No. Dwight Howard is literally making every team he's been on worse. He made the Rockets worse. He's making the Hawks worse. The Hawks, I guarantee the Hawks are going to have a better record last year than they did this year. Yao Ming over Kyrie? Ah, no, no, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I can't do it. No, I got Kyrie over. I got Kyrie over both of these dudes. I can't go. Yao Ming over Yao Ming over Dwight Howard, most definitely. Yeah, he didn't make his teams worse and shit, but no, no. Anthony Davis. Now this is tough. Yeah, no, I think Anthony Davis. I think he deserves to be number two. I think he deserves to be number two. Anthony Davis is nasty, dude. Anthony Davis has been nasty his whole life. He was nasty as fuck in high school. He was nasty as shit in college. He's just fucking nasty. Like, he's nasty to look at, and he's even nastier on the court. And then one, like LeBron, of course. I would probably go LeBron. Davis, Yao Ming, Kyrie, and then I don't know, and then I really don't know, then, I'll, then I don't know, then I might go Blake Griffin, I don't know man, I don't think that Dwight Howard is better than Blake Griffin either though, like, Dwight, who's picking Dwight Howard over Blake Griffin? You know what I'm saying? Who's picking Dwight Howard over Blake? Nobody is picking fucking Dwight Howard over Blake Griffin. What the fuck? That wouldn't even be an even trade. You'd have to give them something else to just Dwight Howard. Like, nigga, that's not even a fair trade. Anyways, um, you guys can let me know what your top five or what your, even your top 15 looks like. I think Black Nine's list was pretty accurate for the most part. Ha, uh, since D Rose is from Chicago, I'm from Chicago. We saw they got a little bond. That might be why I'm putting them over John Wall. I don't know. I don't think Dwight Howard deserves to be that high up. I think Blake Griffin is better than Dwight Howard. I think Kyrie Irving is better than Dwight Howard. Um, you guys can let me know what you would change, but I already just said that. Go check out Black Knight's channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Thought I had a hiccup. <coughs> oh, nope, it was a burp. Anyways, I will leave out Black Knight's channel description. <laughs> Three people like this Instagram with me. Comment below. Till next time it's been your butt if I get more open side nigga I'm about this bitch piece. He's wild, yeah. He threw it, need him. Curry style, dagger. Come on, let's do it. He's wild. I gotta see this again. Oh yeah, come here. Oh, oh, oh. Come here. Oh.